My name is Samir. I'm an Edge Performance SRE at LinkedIn. My SRE team is uh, in charge of all external services, and really it's about optimizing every bit from pop to member. So we manage DNS, right? Really getting users to the closest pop and to the right CDN. We also manage all the CDNs. We want to make sure we pick the best CDNs, and we're handing the right CDN to the right person at the right time. So it's really optimizing the user experience. From a textbook, we know that uh, page load performance affects the amount of views you get, right? Users usually a lot a certain number of time to go to your site, it could be a lunch break, and they'll spend a minute, two or five minutes on your site. And the faster it responds, the more page views they will spend on your site. So we have many users around the world. We have users in North America that have different demands than users in say India or China. It's important that we have low latencies and availability. But that means different things to different people because people in say China or India are generally used to having a slower web experience and that doesn't mean that that's what we should offer. We're obviously trying to give them the best experience at all times. So what keeps me up at night is knowing whether or not we'll know when one of our third party providers is having issues. With so many providers, right, six CDNs, three DNS providers, things can go bad. And we need to be able to detect those and react quickly. And, and Catchpoint gives that ability. With the ability to measure globally, especially with DNS, we can detect when DNS providers are having issues. Same thing with CDNs. And to be able to pipe that data into, into our alerting in real time allows us to, to act quickly during the day or at night. The good thing with Catchpoint is we have the ability to share the results very easily. So we can create a public link, give it to our, our, our vendor, and say, hey, we're seeing availability issues, and, and there's a lot of data, historical data, right? So we can look back an hour or a day or a week and, and look at you know, week over week trends. So yeah, the ability to, to export data easily to our vendors, even in a crisis situation, is absolutely useful. I've used a lot of monitoring tools, and I have to say that Catchpoint stands out from the pack. You guys have so many nodes and so many features that I was able to present, and we're always able to present um, the data that's important in, in any fashion that we want. And the other tools, um, yes, they have agents in other locations, but it's not necessarily the locations you care about. Yes, they have uh, historical trending, but the, the graphing capabilities are, are limited. The ability for you guys to capture headers for every single object on the page and then, and then do analysis on the headers and, and, and plot like uh, variations of headers over time from different ASs is, is very powerful.